Hi, I'm Sean Croson with uh, IBM. I'm here at the Think ASG offices, one of our business partners, and here with Tony Roberts. Hello. He's one of our one of the distinguished engineers, and we're here to talk about um, one of the solutions we came up with for a large cancer cancer research organization here in Los Angeles. Um, we met with the CTO and lines of business from Genomics, Pax Imaging, and General Archive. And what their, re what their requirements are, and their problem is that they've maxed out on their EMC Isilon storage. And they have petabytes of storage, and they're looking to avoid the big renewal that's coming up with that. They're kind of done with that. And their business, as they said to us, is they want to focus on cancer, not on running the data center. So they wanted to build a data lake. Um, they want deep, scalable, auto-tiering, on-premise, in-cloud, and what they're calling it is an enterprise archival solution. They want to be able to go out to tier zero, flash, tier one, and cloud storage. So to be able to move data off this expensive flash storage and move it down the, uh, the tiers. Um, and they wanted to do a POC. So um, I'm gonna turn it over to Tony, who's gonna go through the actual solution that we came up with. Oh, and by the way, we met up with the folks at Interconnect because when they asked if we could do this, we said, yeah, we, we think so. We didn't know the solution that exactly actually existed. So I was at Interconnect the following week and I met up with the folks from uh, Spectrum Scale Development um, and with uh, CleverSafe. And they have this thing called Transparent Cloud Tiering. New to me, probably new to some of you folks, but I'm gonna turn it over to Tony to go over the solution. Thank you. So what we did was this customer has been a customer of Think HG for quite a while, so we have a very good understanding of their infrastructure and some of the challenges and stuff that they've had. And so one of the things in working with IBM was, how do we put all the pieces together to be able to prove this out in a POC, but then to also turn that into a enterprise architecture that's going to fit within uh, their requirements. And so what we did was we took, we, we met with each one of the user groups, the genomics, the PACS users, and some of the just the general archive folks that have those requirements, and really listened to what their, their problems were, what they were looking for out of the solution. And so what we did is we came up with um, a way to, to, to prove that out in the POC. Basically, they're, they're interacting with their current environment through this uh, SMB and NFS protocols. So what we do is we have a system that is offering up those protocols through the spectrum scale. We have a flash tier in here, so the, the, when, when the users are accessing the files locally, it's very fast, very responsive, and as those files become less and less um, active, they, we will then automatically move those off to another tier of storage. In this case, it'll be some spinning disks that are you know 10,000 uh, RPM type disk, and then eventually, they'll move out to the CleverSafe um, hybrid cloud, which we have set up currently um, to be able to move that data out to there. And then if they need to, they can recall that back into the faster tier of storage to be able to um, continue to look at that data. The, you know, the requirements are different between genomics and PACS and general archive, but the beauty of the solution is, is that we're able to solve some real business problems that span across some of their, uh, several of their user groups with one solution. So it's not a siloed approach, it's, it, it, it's an approach now that, that's gonna give them a lot of business value in growing out that infrastructure. Um, so what we did is we, we have a small system in there that has all this capability and functionality that we've already installed, and we are actually right now just getting ready to start doing the testing, testing with the genomics and the packs and the general archive users to be able to um, let them go through the testing and make sure that it works and functions according to their expectation. And you did some of this on site first, right? You guys used some of your equipment that you had here. Correct, yeah. so we were able to, uh, you know, one of the challenges was, like I said, putting all the pieces together. And so we have a lot of those pieces here in our uh, integration center that we were able to um, pull together and take out to, sit, take out to the customer and do the actual install and set up. And that's, that's where we're at today. And like I said, we're right on the, the next step is we're, we're going to start doing testing uh, with the users and their data. Great. Thanks.